So they would finish their swim, come into this pub, and then sign the wall. <laughs> I feel very safe. Welcome to Dover. We're back in England for just a couple days before we catch a flight back to the US. Here's our Airbnb. This building was built in the 1700s. Uh, they've recently remodeled it and the, uh, the lower level of the house is an apartment and that's where we're staying. So we've got a great living area with a nice kitchen. Um, it's very quaint, very English. It does really makes you feel like you're in England, which we appreciate uh, because we love England. We've got a comfy bedroom with a nice clean bed, a beautiful bathroom with uh, maybe the most decorative toilet I've ever seen. One other touch that uh, we thought was really cool is there's fresh flowers both in the living room and in the bedroom. They smell great and they just make it feel like home. We lucked out with this one and got some great Airbnb hosts. He actually picked us up from the train station, um, which he totally did not need to do, but saved us a walk in the rain. They left uh, some croissants and a bunch of fresh fruit and jams, milk and orange juice for us in the fridge. A really nice touch that really makes you feel welcome and warm. From Dover, uh, we're going to see Dover Castle. Uh, see the white cliffs of Dover, the sea cliffs. We've never been here before, never been to the southern part of England here on the coast, so we're really excited to explore that. Okay gang, so it is our first day in Dover and ordinarily we would run on the first day but today we're doing a hike. We're actually going to hike the White Cliffs of Dover but before we do that we're going to tour Dover Castle. A lot of things happened here not only during medieval times but also uh, during World War II. This is one of the closest points between England and France. It's actually only 18 miles across the English Channel. When we're hiking the cliffs we might actually get to see a little bit of France today. That's really cool, and being the only ones here makes it really cool. <laughs>
actually a wooden pitched roof, but it was replaced by this brick roof uh, in the 1700s so that they could put cannons up here to defend against Napoleon in France, which is just 18 miles across the channel. White Cliffs of Dover are here and if you look over my shoulder you'll see this green pasture and it's hard to believe that on the other side of this is that. tunnels that were used for medieval defense so you can go tour those there are two sets of tunnels medieval tunnels and then world war ii tunnels another great thing to know if you're going to be in england for a little while and you want to see a lot of places like dover castle they have an overseas visitor pass and so it's a flat fee that gets you entrance into a lot of things i think there's like 40 some castles a lot of parks also um, a lot of church sites things like that so if you're planning on seeing a few things while you're here, you might consider this pass. And if you're watching this the day after you bought tickets, don't worry, you can have them upgrade your ticket to the pass if you think you might use it. So we just had lunch at the White Horse Pub here in Dover. It's a really good pub, really good food. Uh, one of the crazy things about it is inside on the walls and the ceiling are the signatures of a lot of people who have swum the English Channel. So they would finish their swim, come into this pub, and then sign the wall. We hiked to the White Cliffs of Dover straight from the city center. Guys, it's super easy, super worth it. You're gonna get great views and it's gonna take pretty minimal effort. No matter where you're staying in Dover, I think it'll be pretty handy. You also get to go past the castle. You're on a public footpath or other people and it just feels really relaxing and refreshing. And you get to a view of the port and you get to see like how powerful Dover really is to England and everything that they do here. Ground here is mostly chalk, which makes the cliffs white. And you can actually see France from here. So from the White Cliffs of Dover, you can see the White Cliffs of France.
The hardest part of the White Cliffs hike really has just been walking up the pavement. Yeah. It's pretty steep. There's some stairs and stuff, but it's really bad. Yeah, once you get to the actual footpath part of it, uh, actually on the cliffs, it's a really easy, nice walk. Yeah, it's good. I am about to throw away the sunscreen. It has been leaking all over my suitcase for a couple months now. But the reason I'm really frustrated is this cost, I think around 16 or $17. Yeah. In Switzerland, we accidentally bought it because we accidentally bought two sunscreens because I was holding two in my hand trying to compare them. I decided on one and I walked to the, to the cash register with both of them. I absolutely hate it because it stinks. I'm sorry, Sherpa. It smells like you're putting on um, insect repellent. I haven't even liked it. And now I have to throw like away almost the entire bottle because we didn't end up using it or needing it. So we loved our time in Dover. Exploring the castle was great. Going to the White Horse Pub and reading all the names of the people that had swam the channel and the different reasons that, that they had was really cool to get to see. The uh, bartender there, his dad had swam the channel and so his dad was one of the names on the walls. He told us a little bit about his story. It was really cool. That was really, really neat. There's so many other things that you can do here, including things along the White Cliffs that we didn't get to do. We wanna tell you about some of those, but you're gonna to have to tune into the podcast to find out what they are. And we are off to London next. So we are in London and Jamin got his tickets to the Glass Menage, right? It's got Amy Adams in it and she's gonna be on stage. And he also found us this great little place where we had some cocktails and had a little happy hour. So close to being back in America and being in the Airstream and living in it and um, taking you guys on that journey. So please stay tuned. Remember, life is short. Wonder well. So the White Cliffs of Dover are here in Dover. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, really crazy. So this is where Hillary sneeze farted. <laughs>